Let's try. Otoki cheese ramen. All right, we're gonna try these noodles. Cheese ramen. It's been a while since I've had some cheese ramen. Thank you, Chris, for sending me these. Yes, I am eating them a couple months expire, but that's okay. It's gonna be a nice spicy, cheesy adventure. So enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, so we have our noodles here. We have our noodle block, we got our flakes, we got our seasoning powder, and we got our cheese powder. Add um, 400 milliliters of water to a boil, add your noodles, add your soup seasoning, your cheese powder, and your flakes. And then we're gonna go ahead with the cook for three minutes, and voila, let's go ahead and give this a try. So this is the finished product. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Cheese lovers, unite. Um, cheese ramen is exactly what it entails. It's a cheesy ramen, delicious, and a bit of a, a slightly spicy broth. And of course, for the signature otogi noodles. So let's start with noodles, because obviously my favorite part. Otogi noodles are great. They are super bouncy, super chewy, super delicious, and are nice and tight and don't get waterlogged. 100% delicious. 10 out of 10 for noodles, amazing. The broth is in a slightly spicy, um, it's probably a meat-based, obviously, um, soup, which is very, very savory, high in umami. And of course, when you add that cheese element, oh my, oh my. They have different levels on the package of the cheese packet that says beginner cheese level, intermediate cheese level, and cheese lover. And of course, knowing me, I had to go full in cheese lover and it is very cheesy. If you want to think about it as like a mildly spicy Korean ramen mixed in with Kraft Dinner cheese powder, it tastes like that. Don't get turned off. It's actually delicious. For me, it's delicious. It's a strange flavor, strange but delicious flavor that I personally very much enjoy. You get that creaminess, but a really like cheese forward flavor to it. And you also get like a little bit of flakes in here as well. I did see flecks of corn, some green onions in here. There isn't a ton. I wish there was more with how much noodles there is in this package, but you know, that's not gonna deter me. And plus, they're just there for some decoration anyways. It doesn't really do much for the actual flavor, but it's nice to have a piece of vegetable every once in a while. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a four out of five. I really like these. Um, cheese ramen, again, even though I love cheese and I love ramen, they're not my flavor. It's not a flavor that I can have like every day which is why it's a 4.0. If you are like a cheese obsessed person, um, you might give this a higher rating, um, but it's a very unique taste. I would say it's not for everyone. And obviously I love it more spicy. So anything about it will get a lower rating for me. And would I buy the skin? No, because again, it's not a flavor I crave all the time, but it is tasty indeed. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe in the link down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell just at the top right hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see you for next week. Bye!